Hello YouTube, today we are going to be cooking pink pasta. I saw a picture of pink pasta on Instagram and today we'll try to recreate that recipe. The only one thing we know about pink pasta is that the color came from beetroot. And just for the record, the only way I have ever ate beetroot, uh, it was pickled beetroot with garlic. That was the way my grandma used to make winter salad with beetroot. I never ate roasted nor fresh nor cooked beetroot, just pickled. So today we will try to make this one sauce for pasta with beetroot. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jay from Yelena J and let's start with So uh, peeps, I have here cooked beetroot. I think this sauce you can make with cooked or with roasted. It doesn't so much important. So, I mean, I don't know because I have never had nor cooked nor roasted, but I'm going with cooked today. After you cook your beetroot, uh, let it to cool down. Uh, peel off that dirty skin. I think that beetroot skin is always dirty. It's, it doesn't important how long you cook it or wash it or whatever. So peel off that. After that, I'm going to uh, put this smaller pot with water, full of water and nice amount of salt on the stove. I'm going with this smaller pot because I'm like a little bit skeptic about the taste of this pasta, uh, but I want just to try and see and taste. Okay, guys, I'm going to use just this one, just one beetroot, root of beetroot. Okay. And I'm gonna cut it here it's in this one uh, bowl because I think I would never wash my wooden board if I cut it on wooden board. It's time to cook our pasta. Now we're gonna add a little bit of this cooking cream. I don't know how much I should add. Oh, guys, look at this. This is so cool. Look at this color. Okay, you guys. Let's see. I think we will add a little bit more of this cooking cream, but let's just try. Wow, I mean, look at this color, it's crazy. But I'm gonna just make it a little bit lighter. I'm gonna add, oh, I'm gonna add more of cooking cream. Okay, you don't see it. Hopefully this is edible. <laughs> I can't believe. peeps let's be fast right now because our pasta is almost done i mean do you believe me this is just color from from beetroot okay guys cook it on some low temperature oh i've made mess okay don't don't look at this don't look at that okay now i'm gonna add parmigiano reggiano in this this is not melting yet because temperature of our beetroot sauce is actually low. Okay, guys, it's cooking. I'm gonna add a little bit of this pasta water. Let's now seasoning it. Be careful about salt because you should cook your beetroot in salted water. Is that why salted water? salty water and you cook your pasta in salty water so just do not put too much ok 
Okay, our pasta is done. I'm gonna put one clove of garlic in this because you just can't separate garlic from beetroot in my head. I don't know why is that. Okay, that's it, probably. Mmm, smells so good. Okay, let's add our pasta in here. I have probably should cook a little bit more of pasta. Can't believe in this. I would just add a little bit of sour cream in here for the taste. I'm not sure am I, am I doing the right thing, but just a little bit. You guys can use any shape of your pasta. I just put these little bowls because I have them. Okay, guys, let's serve this in white and black plate. Just, just to see effect of this pasta. I don't know what is up with me for a couple of last days. I mean, I made that peach salad thing and it was crazy. But this one is even more crazy, I think. It smells like parmigiano and like garlic the most. But let's see. I mean, it's okay. It is really okay. It can be dinner. You just need to be crazy. <laughs> this is the craziest sh I ever made. Tutto bene. I mean, you guys, I can't believe. I would love if anyone of you try this. I would love it. And if you try to make this, let me know in the comments what do you think. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I'm like in shock. So, let me know in the comments what do you think. Press that sub button and I'm gonna see you uh, this weekend yes um bye